Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Naki and welcome to this little corner of the internet. And if you're returning, hey girl, hey guy, how are you? So nice to have you again on this lovely, I don't know what day this video was going up. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing y'all my straight to curly to protective style wash day routine. It's gonna be a little bit of everything. Shout out to Shea Moisture for sponsoring today's video and helping us to keep these YouTube lights on because baby, it ain't cheap. So thank you again to Shea Moisture for sponsoring this video and to check out their two scalp care systems, definitely click on the link in the description box. And without further ado, let's get into this wash day. First things first, I'm gonna prep my hair to be washed. And it's been about four weeks since my hair was last washed. So my scalp is pretty dry. Um, it has a bit of dandruff and it just has some buildup. So I'm going to go in with my Shea Moisture Anti-Dandruff Pre-Wash to gently exfoliate my scalp and start loosening up some of that dandruff and buildup so that when it's time to shampoo, it just washes right out. This product does a great job of detoxifying my scalp without stripping it of its essential oils. Just like when my hair is in its curly state, I like to remove as many shed hairs as I possibly can before wetting it so that I'm able to prevent any knots or tangling. So I use my wide tooth coconut detangling comb. I have used this comb for years and it is my absolute favorite detangling comb. It's made of coconut oil and keratin protein infused plastic. So when I tell y'all, it literally glides right through my hair super seamlessly. All right, so now it's time to hop in the shower. Hour. For my shampoo, I'm going to be using my Shea Moisture Anti Dandruff Shampoo. This shampoo helps to eliminate any flaking and itching associated with dandruff and gently cleanses to remove buildup. The Anti Dandruff Collection is especially perfect for wash days where you're coming out of or preparing to enter into a protective style because it has ACV, salicylic acid, and vitamin B3, all of which help to fight symptoms of dandruff that oftentimes comes along with protective styling or having a style in your hair for a long time. I personally gravitate towards the anti-dandruff collection because I protective style a lot and my scalp gets very dry and very dandruffy from protective styles. However, Shea Moisture does also have the Scalp Moisture Collection, which is all about moisturizing your scalp and your hair. So in the comments below let me know what has your scalp journey been like and what are your scalp needs during a protective style do you need anti-dandruff do you need more moisture and also be sure to click the link in the description box to find the right Shea Moisture scalp care system for you if you've been here for a while you'll know that I used to shampoo my hair in four sections and as you can see I no longer do that anymore it's mostly because I simply don't have the time but it's also because my curl pattern has gotten a little bit looser since I don't wear my hair in its natural curl pattern as often. So as you can see, the back of my hair is a lot more loose and the front of my hair is a lot more loose when it comes to my curl texture, which really has always been true even when I used to wear my hair in its curly state with my super tight 4C curls. The back of my hair and the front of my hair have always been looser and always haven't really exactly been like a 4C super tight curl pattern. So I like to shampoo twice just to make sure my scalp and my hair are squeaky clean. Then I move on to conditioning and I'll be using Shea Moisture's anti-dandruff conditioner. This conditioner soothes the scalp. It really helps to eliminate flaking and itching associated with dandruff and it leaves my hair soft and extremely extremely smooth so first I distribute it very generously throughout my entire head I am someone who is not shy when it comes to conditioner I like to overuse <laughs> conditioner just because my hair does tend to be pretty dry then I separate my hair into four or six sections add a bit more water and conditioner and then detangle with my coconut comb and I of course like to detangle from ends 
to roots until the full section is detangled. Once I'm done with that section, I twist it up and I move on to the next section until my entire head is conditioned and detangled. Then I go ahead and rinse it out. And when I tell y'all, my hair is so extremely soft and moisturized, it actually makes no sense. So this is what my hair is looking like out of the shower. Honestly, it's been a couple hours cause I got hungry and I needed to go eat lunch and then I got a little lazy. So I've had this shower cap and microfiber towel on my hair for maybe like two hours or so, but this is what my hair is looking like now. As you can see, my hair definitely has some looser sections and strands, but really for the most part, it's still extremely curly and thick. Now it's time to blow dry my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and separate it into four sections. And for each section, I'm going to go in with Shea Moisture's anti-dandruff leave-in. This helps to soothe my scalp while fighting flaking and itching and irritation associated with dandruff. And I apply this very generously to my scalp. Like I mentioned before, when it comes to a good conditioner, I'm not shy. I like to apply a lot. I also love the little nozzle applicator that allows me to really reach my scalp very easily. I first massage that into my scalp and then I take it down the length of my hair. And after adding a heat protectant and detangling a little bit more, I'm gonna move on to blow drying. I use the Dyson blow dryer and I know it's expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive. It is a pretty penny. However, I think it's worth it because I do blow dry my hair a lot and stretch my hair a lot. And the Dyson blow dryer is engineered to protect from extreme heat damage and it does that by measuring the air temperature over 40 times a second and regulating the heat just so that it never gets too hot and thus damaging your hair or causing heat damage. First I grab the styling concentrator to stretch my hair using the tension method which we all know and love and then I use the wide tooth comb attachment to make sure that it's really stretched and just dry from roots to ends. I like to make sure that I have a good blow dry just because when I'm going to a braider, we all know if your hair is not blow dried well enough, they are gonna charge you an extra 10, 15, 20, maybe even 30 to blow dry it again. So I like to just make sure that my hair is very well blow dried whenever I know I'm about to go to a braider and get my hair in a protective style. This is what my hair looks like when it's all nice and clean and stretched and ready for its next protective style. As you can see, although I don't wear my hair curly as much anymore, it's still very thick, it's still very full <laughs> and yeah, she's growing, she's thriving, she's healthy and I just be leaving her alone because she don't really like to be bothered a whole lot. So that is it for a typical wash day for me. And that is how I typically go from my silk press to a protective style. If you have not seen my last video on how I've been using protective styles to grow my hair, definitely check that out. It'll be in the description box as well as the cards. And yeah, this is the protective style that I opted for after that wash day. It's a little different than my usual. You know, I feel like it's giving young. I feel like it's giving youthful. I feel like it's giving you know, modern day Instagram baddie even a little bit. I don't know, I'm just, I wanted to try something a little different just because I'm not gonna keep this style for that long. I do have to switch up my hair a bit quicker than I normally would. So I wanted to try this because the way these sections are set up, they not set up to last six to eight weeks, child. So I was like, let me experiment while I have like a week or two in between styles. But yeah, it's just these jumbo knotless braids with curls at the end and I am loving it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks again to Shea Moisture for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click on the link in the description box to find which Shea Moisture scalp care system is right for you. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.